usually I'll have a little drug out story, a little catchy catchphrase at the beginning of my videos, but not tonight. We are getting straight to the point here. The point is that I've been saying since the beginning of this year, the Heat will make the conference finals. The Heat are contenders in the East. I preached my case about the Heat the entire year. And now look where we are. The Heat in the conference finals, and they are out to prove the doubt is wrong. From the beginning of the year, Miami was looked at as a curious team in the East because they just acquired Jimmy Butler, a guy who had plenty of questions going into that year as well because this was his fourth team in the past three years. So the questions were warranted. A lot of reporters thinking that it was a selfish move on his end or something that he wasn't thinking about for his teammates because he had something good going in Philly, but he decided he didn't want that anymore. I always felt like going into this year, we were one of the deeper teams in the league. I mean, we have Jimmy Butler, we have Bam Adebayo, who is a growing power forward and is slowly emerging as becoming one of the best defensive players, best young defensive players we have in our league today. And we have the man himself, Tyler Hero. And number one, I gotta apologize, man. In the past, in one of my videos, I talked a little bad about him. I didn't really want him on Miami. I actually wanted Kevin Porter. But come to find out when we got Hero, He's been nothing but great for us. He's not afraid to take the big shots, and he definitely hits them as well. And he has that swagger and that calmness about him that hasn't been seen in a rookie in a long time. He has the three-point striker himself, Duncan Robinson. And funny story about that, a month ago I went to the barber shop, and I was talking with one of the barbers next to my main one. He reminded him of Pedro Stoyakovic. And I kind of sat there and thought about it for a minute. That sounds like a great comparison. I mean, think about it. Two guys that are 6'8", both great shooters, and both make a great impact to their team. And slowly, I feel like Duncan Robinson can become that Peja. Because Peja in his peak, he was a threat on offense, an absolute threat. Then you got a young rook, Kendrick Nunn. And the funny thing that people forget about this playoff series is that we had Kendrick Nunn starting the whole entire year at point guard. But once the playoffs came, it was Drogic that got all the minutes. That just goes a little bit into our depth, by the way. Then you got the rest of our bench. Jay Crowder, Iggy, Kelly Olenek. And I've been impressed with Jay Crowder's game, too, in this playoff. He's been hitting threes behind the arc in an impressive clip. And he's been help helping us out greatly from beyond the bench. And I feel like that trade in the beginning wasn't going to work. Because we traded, traded away one of my favorite players in Miami, Justice Winslow. And we got back an older Andre Iguodala and Jay Crowder. And I feel like the mix wasn't going to work. But as time went on, these guys showed me that they added a great amount of defense to our team. And it paid off in our series against the Bucks. I just remember vividly before the beginning of the Milwaukee series, we were voted major underdogs by the Vegas polls. And pretty much everybody I talked to knew that we were going to get stomped down by Milwaukee. But little did they know. We mess around and build a wall, to be honest. And I'm not talking about no Trump. We literally built a whole solid defensive wall on Giannis. And he couldn't do anything. And another thing I do want to add as well. Stop worrying about Jimmy. This man is a proven star in the league already. And we all know that. And we have so much depth on the team that he doesn't have to be that guy to drop 30, 40 points a night because we have guys that can play make for themselves already. Jimmy Butler always has my respect because he was neglected as a player. Everybody thought he was a team cancer on a lot of teams that he's played on. And everybody thought that he was just a diva who was a coach's pain in the butt. The guys love him on our team. And I just hate that the perception that he got all this time was that he was probably a team cancer. Nobody wanted to deal with him. And, and I just thought it was very unnecessary. Now, just don't worry about old Jimmy Bucket. He's going to come alive next series, I'm sure. And he's going to have to if we want to make it to the finals. If these playoffs haven't shown you anything yet, it should surely show you to expect the unexpected. And I feel like nobody expected Miami to make it as far as we did. All I'm saying is, people, don't sleep on Heat Nation, man. We definitely making some noise in the playoffs, and... I feel like we're not done. What I said a couple months ago sounded crazy, but look at us now. In the playoffs still surviving. I mean, how crazy would it be for us to hold a Larry O'Brien trophy at the end? How crazy would it be to have Jimmy Butler win a finals MVP? Doesn't sound that crazy now, does it?